All right, this video is going to be a step-by-step -step guide to achieve the best Minecraft renders. I'll review the three main pieces of software and try to explain their purposes to the best of my ability. The video will be split into sections. First will be the download section for all the apps, then the OBS settings, Sony Vegas settings and renders, FFmpeg, and finally a showcase of the renders. To have the best renders out there, you need some software first. First, OBS, a lightweight and widely used video recording software. It's free and the correct download link will be provided in the description of the video. Secondly, you need Sony Vegas, preferably the newest at the time of this recording, which is 18. This is paid, however, you can find other ways to download this software by looking it up on YouTube. Lastly, you need FFmpeg, an upscaling software to bypass the downscaling from YouTube. Due to the complexity of the software, I'll also provide a written tutorial in the description as well. Let's start with the OBS settings. First, create a display capture in the sources by right clicking, then add a display capture. Make sure to see your screen to ensure it's the correct display. Now head over the settings. All my settings in the general tab are default. In the output tab, set output mode to advanced. From there, copy all of my settings exactly as you see them. It's important that everything is just as I have it. For the encoder, if you don't have access to the NVIDIA NVEC, please keep it as default. For recording, audio, and replay buffer sections, copy all of my settings as exactly as you see them. In the audio section, I made no changes and it's completely default. The video section is dependent on the resolution of your monitor. So whatever the default is, keep the base and output resolutions the same. For all of the other settings, copy them exactly as you see them. However, the numerator number depends on how much FPS you get in the game. If you set the number higher than what your game is running, the recording will lag. For example, if you get 100 FPS in the game and you set the recording to 120, it will lag. Finally, in the advanced tab, copy the settings again exactly as you see them. Now, a quick tip to increase performance, be sure to turn off the video preview. Now, Sony Vegas settings are a lot easier to understand and a lot simpler. First, open up Sony Vegas and insert any video file. Then go to File in the top left corner and click Render As. Use Magex AVX slash AAC MP4. Click Customize Template on any template. Now copy the settings exactly as you see them. If you have any issues with crashes, lag, or anything else, watch the videos provided in the, in the description. They fix all crashes and lag inside of Vegas. All right, now FFmpeg is a lot more complicated and I'll try my best to help you follow. So first go to the link that I sent in the description and um, download it on the official website. Now make sure you download the Windows version if you're in Windows and Apple, if on Apple is Linux, you're in Linux. And from there, go to the Windows badge from uh, uh, Grand Dev. I believe that's what that says. And um, scroll down to the bottom and you should get to the part where it says uh, like it provides all the builds. So from there, it will give link you to a GitHub. And from there, uh, be sure to download the .zip version, the full version as well, to include all the features that you need um, to render the video. So after you download it, I'll um, speed this up real quick. After you download it, um, drag it to your desktop and then extract it to a folder. All you need to do is just name the folder FFmpeg, um, extract the contents of the zip file into that folder, rename it to FFmpeg, and then drag it out. That folder will then be replaced and there's your FFmpeg folder. Now, make sure to put it in your C drive. This is vital for it to work correctly. So just drag it, drop it into your C drive. Now I already have it in there, so I'm not gonna actually place it in there, but for you, make sure you put it in there. 
Now go to the Windows search, look up um, edit environmental variables. This will bring you this thing. Click on advanced and then click on environmental variables. Then uh, on the top, click path, then click edit. Like I do so here, then um, click new and then make sure you add exactly what you see on your screen now. After that, just click OK, then um, create a new folder called Upscaling. I did this already, but what you're going to have to do is create a text document called Upscaling, like I do now. Now, I'll provide exactly what you're supposed to copy and paste in the description of the video, so make sure you look at that and copy and paste it correctly. So. Once you do open the text document, um, make sure to copy and paste exactly what you see here, except for the top. It's important to save it to all files and have the file path be your own, because if it's my file path, it won't work for you. To get the file path, all you do is double click on the top and copy paste it in there. All right, thanks for watching the video. And uh, finally, we're gonna end this with the showcase of the renders that I just went over. Um, if you have any issues, um, be sure to check the videos I provide in the description. They fix the Vegas crashes, Vegas lag. They also provide a written tutorial for FFmpeg. If you have any issues beyond that, feel free to join my Discord, link in the description as well.